else. I've got a little Oxytizing helper here today. About roughly twice this is Vivian, so it and it's bringing your daughter to work day. I should know. We don't it's the babysitter really couldn't make it day, so. Um, so is, Baby's here. Car have one what are you playing? Um, at Baby. the moment. Yeah, so what game are you playing? Okay. Yeah, show us the camera. You said it's an 88 Look at that. Who doesn't like mermaid games? Isn't that cool? Me. It's cool, huh? Okay. So, um, if you hear a baby in the background on the phones, it's a little baby. All right, this S2000 came all the way from Lakeland. It's actually not far away, it's towards Orlando, uh, about 60 miles away. So, grand scheme of things, this is considered a local car. Uh, we have a full bushing kit somewhere. We're doing the master kit, which is every single urethane bushing on the car. Uh, the car's got some miles on it, so it's starting to feel a little weak, a little floppy. This is said box O bushings. This is the total kit. Hence, total kit. This is every bushing on the car, including the compliance bushings, which are known to get kind of fatigued and loose over time. So this makes the most difference for these cars, gives it a really tight handling. So as there is one of the top ones already put on, he wanted us to prep these, clean them and paint them before we put the bushings back in so everything looks nice and new. So George is doing another uh, upper for the front right now. Let's go over there. This is one of the uppers for the front. Let's see how nice it looks. It's all painted. How nice it looks. Like I said, we did the uh, painted the control arms, so it looks even better now. And you see all the grease is oozing out there. So front is done, upper and lower. The suspension has to be adjusted. You had the suspension put on somewhere, and they didn't adjust it very well. There's the back one. Look, look how nice it looks painted. So we've got to change the spring rate and change the height. It's actually sagging a little bit in the rear and he was complaining it's a little bouncy so that's something that has to be addressed also George has another one going on over here that grease is delightful isn't it? that's grease <coughs> it's worse than space grease space grease you can see it this stuff is like invisible space grease I don't know so this is one of the bushings that come out this is one that actually presses out you see it's rubber over time the rubber gets squashed this one isn't as bad, but often you'll see this will be on the lower side, which means the rubber is squashed. These are a smaller bushing, so they don't get destroyed as bad. The bigger ones are the ones that usually show all the problems. So George is about to give this a good old drilling. Yeah, take the wire brush to it. Try and take 16 years worth of road grime and rust and stuff off of it so we can put a nice coat of paint on it. Make it look pretty. Yeah. Of you should be wearing safety glasses. Don't forget your safety glasses. All right, so this car is here for a simple oil change, but this is something we offer for our S2000 customers. That way you know it is done right. You also know that you are getting the Honda OEM filter. You're not getting a filter that we get a really good deal on them. Get at the parts store that fits 27 different cars. Also, we use Mobile One. Yes, we use it. We like it. And before you want to argue with me and tell me what oil I should be using, as I tell my customers, you use whatever you want. Just change it frequently. You can buy into anybody else's ideas, anybody else's marketing. I don't care what you use, just change it regular and change it often. All right, this is the oil that came out. It's actually still pretty good. You see, it's still got a gold look to it. It looks dark. Like I say, change it, change it often. Use your favorite brand. Use the weight that's recommended by your car if the miles get a little bit higher. Go a little bit heavier oil. Don't go real heavy. So we're going to hold this, you see it's flashing, we're going to hold it down for 10 seconds, 
10 seconds and that service should go back up to 100% whole thing will flash and then it will change ready there we go see 100% so now we can put our oil change sticker up there put that nice and high so it's not in the way so that's when you change oil next all right so now all the bushings are on there and it definitely uh, feels tighter uh, George went ahead and adjusted the suspension it wasn't adjusted quite right to those customers likings uh, also brought it up about a quarter of an inch in the back and visually it looks a little bit more even now we actually did this head on this car maybe two years ago three years ago it had some valve issues the car still runs fantastic I mean look at the mileage if you guys have doubts on an S2000 how well to hold up well I mean look at that and it's nice sounding so now we're going to urethane bushings they're not going to deflect like the rubber and over time the rubber ones are you know squashing well when everything comes apart George just make, uh, makes a mark on everything to get it back in the exact same position but because urethane is now put everything exactly where it needs to be and it's not squashed it's un almost certainly going to need an alignment uh, even the diff bushings were done you kind of see there they are not the most fun to do but again it tightens everything up makes everything feel really precise so there we go there's another one done Pizza's here. No, it's not pizza. It's Firehouse. You know what I love about Firehouse? The fact that they have to insist on giving you these pickles. Now they put them at the bottom of the bag, which makes all the bag wet and all your napkins wet. Why do they insist on giving you those stupid pickles? Does anybody really eat them? 